This is John Kohler with DiscountJuicers.com. Today we have a very special treat for you. I've been getting many customer requests for me to do a demonstration of the Wells Press. This is a manual, hand-operated press style juicer. This is actually one of the juice, one of the ways juicing has been around for the longest before electricity even. So even in the olden days, you know, actually in uh, Mystic, Connecticut, there's one of the oldest steam generated presses that press apples to make apple juice so that's how you know in the olden days they made apple juice and even winemakers made grape juice to make their wine with a press so the presses have several advantages uh, one of the things is that it really runs at a low speed so there's the least amount of oxidation that's occurring when you're making juice in the press this one happens to be hand operated so it's really simple and really easy to use anybody can use a press. So to use a press, there's basically two steps involved in most cases. If you have some soft fruits like grapes or strawberries or other berries, then they're gonna work pretty well whole in the press, but other fruits like apples, pineapples, and other things may be better to actually first grind it up and have a step one. So many people call this homogenizing, and many people might use, say, the champion juicer as a homogenizing or step one before putting the produce into the press to press out the juice. So instead of using the champion, because the champion does run at a higher speed, it tends to oxidize uh, the, the pulp more, we're gonna use what's even better than a champion, we're gonna use a Samson 9006 uh, juicer to do step one, to do the homogenizing, or basically just to mash up the carrots. If you try to put whole carrots into the press, you might get a little bit of juice, but it's really not gonna be effective. You really need to like, grate up the carrots first. You could also hand grate the carrots with a hand grater into the smallest, finest shreds that you could grate into. And that would also be a really good first step, say if you don't have any electricity, or even a hand crank juicer or meat grinder just to grind up the, uh, the, the produce. So what we're gonna do today is we're gonna use five pounds of uh, baby carrots. I like this because this is pre-measured, five pounds that are washed and ready to use. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. The first step is we're gonna homogenize the carrots. What I like about this machine, it runs at a low uh, RPM, under 100 RPM, it's really quiet, and plus it's gonna oxidize the carrots the least as we do the step one. Oh, and what I do wanna point out is the Wells Press does come with a press cloth. So you're gonna see we're gonna basically uh, pulverize these carrots into a mush, basically. It's gonna go into this press cloth, we're gonna fold over the press cloth, four times and have a little, basically a little packet of uh, pressed carrots in there. Then we're gonna set that into the press, jack up the press, bring these two plates together. And now the press exerts 4,000 pounds of pressure onto the pulp to literally squeeze out all that juice. And you're gonna get basically a sawdust dry pulp. I could almost guarantee you that there's no other juicer in the world that will make your pulp this dry to ensure that you get all the juice out of your hard-earned and expensive, in many cases, organic vegetables. In addition, besides the uh, press cloths, which I think are easier to use, they do have the press bag, which is basically a press cloth that has been sewn on two sides to make it a bag. Now this can come in handy for some people, but in most cases it can be more difficult to basically get all the pulp that's stuck in afterwards to clean. So this is available as an optional accessory. The other thing about this press is that this is a very durable unit. It's gonna last literally a lifetime and on that same level, it has a lifetime warranty on the, on the frame of the press. So it will last a long time. So without further ado, we're gonna take our press cloth, line our bowl with the press cloth. This is definitely gonna save you time so you don't have to get all the pulp and then put it into the cloth or bag. It's gonna be already there for us turn this machine on nice and quiet. We're going to feed through five pounds of carrots to get the pulp. So as you can see, we're putting the carrots into the machine. Literally all the machine is doing is just grinding up and breaking up those carrots into a carrot pulp. The carrot pulp contains both the fiber and the juice, and that's very important. The other thing you could do which we might do a little bit later in another video, is we could just take carrots and juice carrots in this juicer. We'll get the carrot juice, and then we'll get the carrot pulp. We'll save the juice and actually we'll drink the juice, but then you could take the pulp and actually then put it back through the press and get further extraction 
to make sure that your pulp is sawdust dry to make sure that your juicer is doing its job. Just, just a way to basically get more yield. So it looks like we have a nice pretty big packet here of uh, carrot pulp through the Samson juicer. Now you don't want to fill the press uh, cloth too much with the pulp because then it will overflow and that's not a good thing so it's better to do you know, several small batches instead of one super large bas batch because it's just going to make a mess. So let's see, we're going to let this run for a few more seconds. Turn that off, we're basically going to pat this down. We can pull this out a little bit so you can see. We just have all this uh, carrot pulp here and we're going to carefully just uh, fold over the press cloth once and then uh, twice, wait, and then three times a lady, no, and then we're just going to fold it over, you know, four times just like this and then we have a nice, uh, all the carrot is basically in the press cloth. So we're just going to go ahead and jack it up. And as you can see, we're jacking this up. And whoa, look at all that juice come out. Now, let me tell you something. This juice that's flowing out of this press is the best juice in the world. All the juicers that I sell and all the juicers that I make carrot juice, none of the juices are as fine as a fresh press juice. This juice has basically no fiber in it. And it just tastes like sweeter and is better and basically because we're doing it with the Samson juicer it has the least amount of oxidation that you'll find out of pretty much any juicer now I'm putting a lot of pressure on this and we're pretty much cranked down as much as I could get it 4,000 pounds of pressure on the pulp now now what we're gonna simply do is there's a little turn knob here we're gonna just simply turn that like not even that much like a half a turn and you can see slowly what's gonna happen is this press plate is then going to come down. We could take our basically our carrot press cake out now, and let's take a do let's do a close up shot on that carrot pulp, man. This carrot pulp is the driest carrot pulp you'll find. Um, wow, that's I mean I could take this and I can't even squeeze out a lot of juicers. Oh, actually every other juicer I could take and squeeze, and there'd be juice left in my hand. But not so with this Wells Press. This is one of the most efficient juicers on the planet, literally, actually. So really dry pulp. If you want to get the most out of your juice, you have to get this Wells Press. But you must use it, you know, if you're juicing carrots in conjunction with another juicer, for example. Or minimally, you need to use a grater. So basically, so we just emptied out the press cake, the carrot press cake out of the press cloth and now we're ready to reset so we're gonna go ahead and put this press cloth back underneath the machine let's go ahead and continue on real simple feed the carrots into the machine so it's really easy using the Samson juicer and you know what this is gonna be the highest quality juice that I've personally had all year going low speed in the Samson juicer at low RPM to create the pulp and then pressing out this juice and I'm really thirsty right now I've had a hard work day and I'm so much looking forward to drinking this oh my god this delicious carrot juice if you've never had fresh pressed juice I'd almost say you gotta buy the Wells Press to, to make it but uh, you know what any kind of carrot juice is still good stuff but it's just especially good with the Wells Press So we're going to do a couple more carrots here and we'll have enough uh, carrot pulp to uh, press our next batch out. So we're just finishing up and making some more pulp, uh, you know, to put in this next pressing. I think that'll pretty much about do it. Now I am juicing carrots today to uh, put in the press, but you know the press will also juice things like greens, celery, cucumbers, broccoli, cauliflower. But very important when you're using the press is you need step number one. You always need, especially on the leafy greens. You can't just put leafy greens in there and then jack it up. Nothing's going to come out. You need to macerate the leafy greens, get them chopped up first, and then put them into the machine for the best results. So you just saw I just finished uh, grinding up some more carrots. And here it is right there. And once again, we're going to try to get all this uh, centered and a little bit compacted here. So I'm going to use my hands to make a nice little uh, square in the middle there. And once again, you know, it's very important not to make too much pulp when you're juicing. If you overfill your press bag, 
then you're going to make a mess. So it's better definitely to do a, a smaller batch than a, than a larger one and have it basically blow up on you. So there we go. We have a nice little block there. And once again, we need to fold the press bag over in a force. So here's one fold there. And these press bags are nice, large size. Okay, so there's a, bring that all the way down over there. Close it up really good. Then uh, there's fold number two. Try to get this nice and even here on this side and on this side. And here's a fold number three. Pull it over nice and tight. And then finally, fold number four. And we want to make sure that this is uh, you know, fairly tight and centered. We have our nice, uh, all the carrot pulp inside there. And here's the trick. You know, you want to take the folds, and once you have the folds on the top, then you're going to take the whole press mixture and put it on the bottom. And if you put the folds on the bottom, they're going to be, they're going to hold in place without you having to put any fingers in there. So then, once again, we're going to tighten up this uh, thumb screw there, which is going to put pressure on the press. Then all we're going to simply do is we're just going to jack up the press. And yes, this is kind of like jacking up your car. This is 4,000 pounds of pressure. Look at all that juice come out. And you know, notice that juice. That is a clear juice. This is nature's living water, fresh water, basically filtered through the carrot with all the nutrition of the carrot coming out into that collection cup. Wow, you know what? And we're almost at three cups now, so we will definitely beat the standard yield that most juicers put out for pressing five pounds of carrots. So we just got done pressing all the carrot juice out. You can see the final drips. We're gonna loosen the thumb screw once again. We're gonna lower this out and we're gonna take a look at this pulp. Now, you know what? As I said before, <laughs> this is the driest pulp out of any juicer. I don't care, any of the juicers I sell, any juicer, this is the driest pulp, hands down. This is the most effective way to juice. I mean. This is pretty much just dry fiber at this point. Uh, what, what would I do with this? Well, what I like to do is actually mix this in with the dog kibble. The dogs will eat it, adds great fiber to them. Not a whole lot of nutrition, nutrition in it left, but I mean, these are just dry, pretty much chunks and blocks, just fiber. I mean, this is really dry. It's, it's just literally amazing. Some people make uh, dehydrated crackers. They'll add seasonings to this, put it in their dehydrator, make crackers out of it. Uh, let's see, worms love to eat the carrot pulp, uh, you know, and make worm castings, a great fertilizer for your garden. That's that. So that's all the pulp generated from five pounds of carrots. This is super dry pulp once again. And you know what? The other thing I want to mention is that we have a pulp free juice. This is a totally pulp free juice. Most juicers on the market, even centrifugal ejection juices will leave some amount of pulp this is purely a pulp-free juice, and when you drink this juice, it just adds to the whole flavor, and th that'll also show how much more this really yields. So next, let's go over, over the results. We have uh, two cups here, um, two pitchers here. This pitcher on this side has three cups of juice, and this pitcher on this side has three cups and a one-third cup, or three, and, three cups and a third additional. So for a total of six cups, Six and one third cups total with the Samson single auger juicer, using it as the step one and just grinding up all the carrots and the Wells press. We got sawdust dry pulp and we got approximately six and one third cups of juice. The standard juicer will make approximately five cups of juice. So this is basically an increase of 33% more juice. So if you want to get all the juice out of your carrots or any other produce that you're juicing, you want to make sure you get the wells pressed as step number two from homogenizing the, the pulp. Or if you're using a regular juicer, you could juice and then take the pulp that comes out of your regular juicer and then press that out. And in many cases, you'll obtain that extra 33% more juice. So you could just do that last percentage on the pulp alone and your juicer had already made the majority of the juice and let me tell you the juice they make with a press is going to taste simply amazing so i hope you've learned more today about the wells press and the value and the power of the wells press on extracting more juice from your pulp and that's what it's all about the more juice you can extract the more juice you'll drink and the healthier you will be so once again this is john kohler with discountjuicers.com be sure to visit discountjuicers.com slash YouTube 
for special promotional offers for our YouTube visitors.